In the previous Bitwin video, I said that I had been working on the project for the past couple of weeks. In a way, this was a lie, as development on the Bitwing actually started back in late 2018, a little before 1.14 was released. After a number of failed attempts at making computers, and some builds I didn't really consider a computer, I just decided that I wanted to make something compact and functional, even if it's just more of an underpowered calculator than a computer. This is why the world is created on a normal grass super flat world, and not a void world or an iron block super flat like some of my other computer worlds. So I started to build the computer. I put in the basic section of the AOU, RAM and input panel. This footage on screen now is a video I was going to upload to the second channel, but decided against for whatever reason. I went and looked back at some of my old worlds and found it, and I didn't actually remember how to use the input panel completely. Weirdly enough, this really inspired me to finish it. Flicking switches, trying to figure out what they all do in my own system, made me realise that this was well on its way to becoming a computer, and probably the furthest I've ever come to creating one. So I started work on turning this thing into an actual computer. I started by adding the wing to the machine, which is where I got the name idea of the Bitwing. Even looking in retrospect, it didn't even really look like a wing at all, but that's always what I kind of imagined it like as I was building it. As you could probably tell in that screenshot, the first components built in the wing was the program memory, the instruction decoder, and the program counter. If you're getting confused from these terms, I'd highly recommend checking out my Bitwing workings video. Anyway, self-promotion aside, at this point I didn't quite know how everything would work together. Although planning may be a good idea, I didn't really do much when it came to the Bitwing. The only thing I really wrote down before building were the instructions. Everything else was kind of designing and building as it came to me, and to be honest, that was more fun than trying to plan it out then build it, and it may not have come to fruition if I hadn't planned it out first. Anyway, after continuing to build it, I realised that because of where I built everything, the clock would have to be extremely slow. Because of this, I tried to look into ways of making it faster. One of the first things I turned to was something I had seen people build on the Cycraft server. Enter the Instant Repeater. I will make a more in-depth video about the Instant Repeater and other redstone mechanics I use to build this in the future. However, all you need to know is that... Yes, yeah, so they were a huge help in making this computer faster. If I just do a quick pan, you can see them almost everywhere and they were really useful. Now, the clock was one of the last things I built. If I had taken more care with the timings, I probably could have made it faster, but I wasn't prepared to spend hours and hours trying to perfect the computer if it was going to be super underpowered anyway. If anyone else wants to download the world and try, feel free to do so. As I said in the previous video, the hardest thing for me to build was the wing. Because I had never really done it before, trying to work out how to get everything accessible to it was a real challenge, and you can probably tell from some of the redstone. The main reason I had trouble, however, is because I didn't really know what I was doing. I was mostly just trying to figure it out for myself. I learned some things through channels such as Nubasaurus and Ben Eater, but I still had to bring all of it together myself. Because of this, building the Bitwing was a huge challenge and a massive learning experience, but it really paid off and has changed the whole landscape of my YouTube channel. Anyway guys, on that note, I think I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you don't mind the slightly shorter videos with these, I don't really have too much else to talk about with a lot of them, but if I do have the opportunity to, I will make them longer. Anyway, if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.